So, as to, I guess to start off, I'm making this video because um, I think the, what I'm going to title this post is, uh, I don't think CT is working, but I want it to. Um, what I mean by that is that I don't think it's, I don't think it might be moving in the right direction for all I know, but I guess I see a lot of problems with where, even where it is right now that I don't think are being addressed. Um, yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. Um, so yeah, like I, I, I want any, all, I want all of these uh, typology theories to really get somewhere solid and rigorous and developed and fleshed out and accurate. Um, but I'm not sure that any of them are really on the right track or... Uh, yeah, like I said, CT might be on the right track, it might not be, I don't know. But uh, I want, for myself, honestly, just to, so I can have some, like that, the self-knowledge, self-understanding that I seem to be searching for. Like, I want these theories to, to I want all of them to be on the right track, because that's just more data to work with, that's just more information that I could uh, use. But I don't think CT is... Like the conclusions, I'll, I'll give a specific example. Um, the type that is the uh, SEA, no, the um, FENI directive double extroverted type. Um, two representatives of the type in the database right now are DJ Khaled and Neil deGrasse Tyson. And intuitively, that just doesn't add up. But I, I mean, if you flesh it out, like one is an astrophysicist, not just one's an astrophysicist, and maybe they should be a DJ and one's a DJ, maybe they should have been an astrophysicist. They're both highly successful doing entirely different things. Um, I don't think DJ Khaled could be an astrophysicist. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson has, has a better chance of being a DJ, but I mean, but that's just my, or, they're just temperamentally, like, really far away from each other. Um, in terms of, like, precise thinking, like, it's not just that they're the same type, which is already, like, I would say is, like, out of 16, that they're both F, E, and I. That already, that already seems like a red flag. But um, also the fact that I mean, there needs to be some, like, it needs to make sense if you're going to put two people, like, what do you, like, if you're just kind of saying that, like, oh, these two people have the same gesticulations, that's fine. But if you're going to say that they have the same information, cognitive metabolism, they have the same behavioral components, and they have the same, not necessarily all the same scale, I understand that it all scales and stuff gets less accurate as you go towards mythology, and they have the same mythology, but there should be some lineup, and there should be a heavy lineup when you have two people that are the exact same, uh, that are the exact same, uh, type out of 1,024. Um, I don't think that I'm I think if you ask, it just doesn't pass any common sense. That typing in particular doesn't pass any common sense criteria. Um, and maybe common sense is a bit too loose, because maybe, like, who says what's common sense, right? Uh, which might be a valid point. But if you just look at... Like, let's break, we can even break down, maybe even in behavioral language, what they're doing. Um, DJ Khaled is, like, making, that he's got the SE component, sure. He's making sounds and songs and beats and stuff like that. That's the SE component. That seems to be what he's primarily focused on. And maybe that's accounted for in his, uh, 
I guess you could say, tertiary SE. Neil deGrasse Tyson, what is he... What is he doing as FE or SE? That could be one way to look at it. Um, it seems to me that, based on the behavioral aspect, you'd say he's leaning more towards the TE side because it's he's doing science and figuring out. And I mean, that's not all he's doing. I understand that he's also there's arguments being made that he's engaging with the public and getting them excited about science, not about humanity, but about physics, astrophysics, uh, which could. I mean, you can look at it from a couple different perspectives, but I don't see how you can really have those two guys. I guess I'm not necessarily looking for an argument as to why they're the same. I'm just not the, I mean, I mean, if they are the same on this scale, then what does that mean? Because if you have two people that are that different together, then either the scale is not fine-grained enough or there's been a mistyping somewhere. And it's not like there's just one example of this, like, um, me and Epic are pretty close, we have the same development, same type, I don't remember, we're, we're pretty close, um, and based on my conversation with him, I didn't, we didn't really, uh, have that much in common, um, and I, I don't know if it's enough to say that, like, well, you could be wrong about yourself. You could be wrong. I think there's just objective experiences that we've both had that don't line up with each other. Um, for example, just... Um, he seems to have a... a uh, these experiences where he kind of loses touch with, like, the his... He, he kind of, like... It's like, seem, like in a... Uh, stereotypically Jungian sense, it seems that he's like kind of getting real heavy, heavily into an intuitive state where he's imagining things that seem, uh, I think that he's described as like, it feels like something spiritual is happening or abstract is happening might be a better word. And I just never had anything like that happen. We have the same functions developed or the same type. Uh, I don't remember the conversation that well, but just even our Temperament. This is more of a subjective component too, but I'm not saying that this isn't. I'm not saying anything negative by this. I don't mean to say anything negative by this. I'm not trying to. Um, semantic disclaimer, perhaps. Um, but it was difficult for me to understand, and it is difficult for me to understand uh, Epic's um, train of thought. Um, Sometimes when we were talking, he might ask a question or respond, and I wouldn't be able to follow it, which I think I would be able to do if we were, I would expect to be able to do if we were this similar, like 90% similar or whatever. Um, same thing with some posts. Uh, I haven't been able to follow his train of thought sometimes, which I don't really see, like, why that would be the case if we were this, this close together. Um... So these are kind of like qualitative arguments, I guess, but I think they're still valid. They're not, I mean, I don't think, just because you can't quantify something that makes it uh, irrelevant, I suppose. Other point I was going to make, I don't want to make this too long, uh, but I keep on having, like, I think experiences of of more... TE mythology, not so much as being a hero and being a hero for humanity or rising up and saving others or helping others or whatever, which would be more effy, but more just like the idea, ideas related to preserving my own life through influence and resources. Um, so what that would look like is... Like, 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 uh, like looking at Elon Musk and seeing like, yeah, that's something that kind of makes more sense for me to do something not then not made that it makes sense for me to do, but that it, uh, that it, uh, would be essentially something that 
I could see myself doing if I were given the opportunity to do. Like, I get what he's doing to an extent. Um, and on that note, Elon Musk, uh, what is he? He's TISE in this system, so... Like, that's very hard for me to see, given the emphasis in the TE behavioral description about, um, about science, engineering, and technology. It's right there. That's all, that's his whole thing. That's his, that's his entire deal. And business. And even politics to an extent, because if you listen to some of the interviews, he's talking about policy, about AI, and stuff like that. In it. At an in-depth level, so I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the main point isn't to just isn't like just to say like, well, my typing doesn't make sense. This typing doesn't make sense. The main point is that I don't, I don't think CT is where it thinks it is. That's a good way to put it. I don't think CT is where it thinks it is right now. I don't think it makes as much sense as some people might think it does. Um, and I want it to make sense, which is why I'm making this video just to kind of get my thoughts out about where I think some issues are. Not necessarily in the methodology, just in the results. Because I'm, I'm looking at the results and I don't, and they don't add up, really. I mean, they might add up based on the process that got there, but like when you compare the results to each other, or you look at the, you look at two results, like, like DJ Khaled and um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you look at those two results, they just... Like what? How is that useful? How is that useful? What does that? Could you? What? what how? How would that be useful for somebody else? Like if you gave somebody, if you type somebody as like, oh, you're uh, F E N I uh, double extroverted directive, and you say, hey, you can do anything. You can look at these two people as examples, and I look at Neil deGrasse Tyson and D J Cal. Like that doesn't. Not that that doesn't help. That doesn't. I know it doesn't. Like that doesn't give them anything to go off of. That's not useful information. To, if you're, like maybe you can extract some behavioral patterns, but if the behavioral patterns don't match up with the typings, the the behavior of the people who have been typed, I don't see how. Uh, I don't. It makes me think that this theory isn't where it thinks it is. Um, yeah. So essentially, this video is just. Cause, Cause, like I said, the main point is like I understand like this this whole project is coming from a good place, but I don't think that it's really where it sh maybe it is where it should be, but it's not where it could be. I think, um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know really how to end it. Uh, No, I guess maybe I can say this. I think that, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, honestly, I don't know whether or not CT stands to make the impact it wants to make or get where it wants to get to. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying I don't know if it does, uh, or I don't know if it doesn't. Uh, but essentially, if it wants to. I think that if it wants to make an impact, it needs to... I guess it needs to either have... High, do I, what am I trying to say? It, has, it needs to have a higher precision. No, not precision. We have talked about that. It needs to have a higher accuracy. It needs to... We need to work in, like, the accuracy component, reliability, uh, verifiability, or reliability, something, whatever it is. It needs to get more accurate in terms of like, okay, how it needs to get some real world testing. It's not, I don't think you can really form a useful theory that has practical application without some sort of practice. Like in terms of like, okay, let's try and work in some of the deductions or, um, Deductions or, uh, yeah, I guess deductions that we've made about this, about different people. How can we apply this? And if it apply, if you apply it and it works, that gives you some confidence that you're doing, that, that your theory is sound. If you try it and it doesn't work repeatedly, then maybe you need to go in another direction. Uh, 
like what's I don't really see the point of classifying like and there is no point because and CT recognizes that there's no point in just classifying people based on just their their uh, their gesticulations um, it makes more sense to say hey there's correlations at each of these levels um, so you can use the and the power of the theory is that it uh, and this is using power in a layman's term uh, the power of the theory is that it allows you to make predictions about behavior from observing um, observing uh, gesticulations, and it makes it allows from that you can make predictions about life paths and, and life mythology or whatever that is. Um, but that stuff is only going to be useful, like valued, if it has some practical application in people's lives. Um, And at this point, I don't think, I think evidence that it's not at anywhere near that point yet is, are some of the typings that I mentioned between, like, me and Epic being typed similarly, uh, even me and Science uh, TM being typed similarly, not as similar as me and Epic, but, uh, and also the uh, DJ Khaled, um, Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson typing. Like, I don't think... Like, it's not practical to put those two people in the same box, because then you can put almost anybody in the same box. Because... Because, because their behavior just doesn't... The behaviors don't match up. I'm not saying they need to look the same, I'm not saying they need to talk the same or act the same, but they need to... Like, the behavior and the mythology of the life need to kind of match up not like, I think, not necessarily intuitively, but like, because there's no real way. I mean, it has to be intuitive at this level because there's no real way to quantify behavior. You can't quantify whether or not. Though there's no language to quantify behavior, um, so it would it has to be intuitive. I think you have to have some. Cause that's the only uh, metric that you have for measuring behavior. Like is is making music the same thing as doing science. Well, they're maybe both creative, but that's about it. Um, they're on different opposite, opposite ends of the creative spectrum. Arguably, some people would say like the NT and the SF spectrum or something like that. So I guess just to sign off, this is just me saying that like, just raising a red flag, me raising my own red flag and saying, I don't think this stuff is adding up in the way that people think it is. Yeah. <laughs>